another fine day, got my coffee. I think it's time to head into London again. So I'm going in because there are some fantastic stocking filler type presents that I want to get. And also while I'm doing that, I'm gonna talk about the potential 350 kilowatts charging network. See that big spike at the beginning? That's what you get in cold weather. It takes quite a while for the battery to heat up, but then when it does, the energy efficiency drops back to pretty much where you'd expect it to be. Maybe not full summertime efficiency, but really not far off. Today is one of those odd mixes between cold and hot. Hot on the tube, cold everywhere else. Something very definitely cheating about penny boards. But when it comes to being in the city, you really can't beat them. They're just so light and convenient. And that's really the key. Because they don't get in the way, it's easy to use them. You could do with bigger wheels though. So anyway, why did I come to London? Well, one word, stockings. In my experience, the absolute best place to get stocking fillers is Covent Garden. After careful consideration, I've decided the best thing to do is to get lunch first. Skating around here would be really good fun if it wasn't for all the people. Yes, I know, I'm boringly unadventurous, but I like pizza, what can I say? <laughs> Tell you what though, I officially shouldn't have worn this big coat. When I'm outside, I'm just about okay, and when I go inside anywhere, I'm far too hot. The original fast food. Apparently this is the best coffee in, where was it? Certainly in Monmouth Street at any rate. Yeah. Best, best for anywhere else as well? In London. Oh, best in London. Yeah, yeah it's pretty damn good. Yeah. Mm. I don't drink coffee, that's all I've been told is that we used to drink Monmouth coffee. Yeah, no, it's, it's good coffee. Toy store time. <laughs> Censored until further notice. Look at the roof display. Oh, I, know. I hadn't noticed that. Well, that was an extremely successful shopping trip. I think I'm going to head back now. I officially have a hand shortage problem. So what's the deal with these chargers then? 350 kilowatts. Ooh, that's a lot. Which car manufacturer could possibly be planning to install these, I wonder? Turns out it's not just one. Ford, BMW, Daimler, also known as Mercedes-Benz, and ooh, Porsche and Audi. And they're all planning on installing 400 or so CCS chargers running at 800 volts, delivering up to 350 kilowatts. That is some serious charger power. Of course, they haven't actually broken ground on any of these chargers yet. It's all at the theoretical stage, but pretty cool. And almost, well, almost two and a half times the amount of power delivered by a supercharger. So Tesla is going to have some catching up to do. They reckon you'll be able to charge your car fully in about 10-15 minutes. By fully I assume they mean to 80% because any charger is going to taper as the battery fills up. Walking is just so slow but I don't dare use the old penny board whilst lugging a bunch of presents in one hand and holding the camera in the other. I think that would be a recipe for disaster. The idea with these super fast quick chargers is to enable all these long range EVs like the Porsche Mission E to actually drive across Europe. So they're going to be strategically placed and I'm pleased to note they're actually quite keen to make them reliable which has historically been one of the big problems with non-Tesla quick chargers. If it's installed as planned this quick charge network could be a real enabler really turning some of these longer range EVs that will be coming out in the next year or two from fairly premium brands you know really turning them from half cars into the real deal which would be awesome get a bit of genuine competition with Tesla going Tesla's of course will be incompatible unless Elon Musk decides that a CCS combo charger adapter is in the future for the Model S and X and 3 of course 
and then you'd have the battery voltage to worry about because Tesla batteries run to 400 volts not 800 however I see no reason why the chargers couldn't be designed so that they deliver 400 volts where they can't deliver 800 it could happen It'll also be interesting to see what Elon Musk has planned as a sort of response because he's always been very pleased with the fact that Tesla is the quickest charging vehicle out there. I'm sure he won't want to be one up by the likes of Ford. missing. Wouldn't want to live there in an earthquake. I actually hate lifts. Much rather take the stairs. Somehow I never seem to actually find the stairs here however. You know I think this proposed charging network is probably the best sign I've seen yet of the seriousness of other car manufacturers when it comes to EVs. It shows genuine intent on actually creating a fully usable vehicle which is something which to date has been a bit lacking. City cars, sure, but fully usable vehicle that can replace petrol and diesel in 95%, 99% of cases, not yet. Stairs. Last time I tried to use the stairs in this place, I wound up looking at a locked fire escape. Hopefully that won't be this time. Hey, success. Oh my goodness, I have totally blown the budget. Oh well, I suppose that's what Christmas is all about, isn't it? Setting budgets and then totally ignoring them. The problem is when I see something that I think Jasper will like, I just can't say no. Back to those stairs. Get what exercise I can, why not? Pretty sure Soap's gonna tell me. She please wants to get in practical presents. What kind of three-year-old wants a practical present? The more I use chargers in places like this, the more I think that wireless charging is definitely going to become a thing. It's just a question of time, because there are so many people out there that are not going to want to faff around with heavy cables, or can't faff around with heavy cables. What would a disabled driver do? Or an elderly driver? Presumably they're still going to want to charge, still going to want to drive. That was a very successful trip, I feel. Quite pleased with that. Decided against the powered board in London because I, it would have been far too heavy, especially with the bags and everything, you know. This is gonna be a very exciting Christmas for us. This is the first Christmas where there's actually a decent chance that Jasper will know what's going on. See what Soph thinks of these uh, stocking filler type presents. Yes, it's a potato gun. They're essential for all small children. Have you thought this through? Yep. I hope you've all enjoyed today's vlog post. If you have, remember to like it and share it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next instalment of my daily vlog. Bye. When doubtless Soph will be sending me back to London to return half this stuff. <laughs> Should have bought the powered board. Oh well. Oh, dude. Ooh. What did I just say about small wheels? <laughs>